First, they lost communication. So radio communication was bad. Then it started going down, obviously, a faster rate. That, Im that implies that the propulsors were not working. So those uh, thrusters that makes it go up and down were not working. So at that point, my assumption is this was not just a clear descent. It really just dove or dived into the bottom. So that impact may have caused that disaster. Simply put, it's the hydrostatic pressure, it's clear. That implosion as opposed to explosion is, outside pressure is very high, so the structure could not handle it. And the best layman's example of that is having a Coke can, okay? Imagine you put that Coke can in a pressure chamber, it buckles, 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 at one point it collapses. So it's a buckling collapse. If I could use even the water bottle, it's this implosion, okay? So it's a collapsing used due to buckling coming from the outside, collapse, collapsing of a cylindrical shape. And it's a pretty classical structural problem. I mean, it's this well studied and it happens because the pressure was excessive. It's pretty clear what happened. Imagine being exposed to uh, 400 times the atmospheric pressure, you'll be crushed to death. And um, from what I also know that uh, uh, this thing disintegrates very rapidly. So I don't, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to recover much, some maybe, but uh, uh, I also heard that from uh, Titanic uh, experience that some, some body parts are recovered, but don't expect these people to come out intact. So there won't, there won't be much left and it's kind of an ugly conversation, but uh, that's that, that those people got gone, just like what happened in Challenger. Those, after that explosion, you don't even, nobody even knows what happened to those human beings. The material that was used for, was kind of revolutionary in a way, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber has got the advantage of light, a lightweight, and that may be a possibility. I understand some people criticize the design for it, but again, I am confident that this was tested. Nobody would go down to that depth thinking that maybe it'll withstand that impact or pressure. So that's what happened. But I don't think that's uh, that's a bad bad design because I mean, its calculations are really straightforward. There's going to be damage reputation wise, there's going to be damage to the business, but eventually people want to explore. Look, after the Challenger accident, uh, there are a couple of companies, one with uh, uh, Elon Musk, one with uh, Bezos, they're sending people up to space and to just to watch, very similar enterprise, okay? And that's not going to stop. So they'll, they'll follow the rules, they'll, they'll 
adjust to the rules and regulations and they'll still do it to make money and to advance knowledge, advance the exposure to public. It's not just money. I think there's there's some benefit in getting people interested in science, going down there and going up there. There's no question. We want to know.